Whoa. That was a good call. That dragon almost slayed me, but I came first. He's now toast. <laughs> Welcome to the Dragon Slayer show. I mean, uh, welcome to Small Turns Big, where we turn small things big. Today, we're looking at a dragon fly that I found in my basement a few days ago. He's rotten a bit, so he's kind of smelly. Here he is, just chilling. Already he's focused up here on his eye. You can see here, he has two big, bold, massive eyes here in the front. It's crazy. You can see here, let me poke this out. Oh, no, no, let's just show you. <laughs> We're not gonna poke his eye for now. <laughs> but let's, let me show you. See, so this is one eye here on the uh, left side, on the right side. It's going, it goes down all the way down here behind. I'm gonna zoom up here up to his eyes. And now you can see here. So this is a cross section between two, the both eyes. You can see here, oh, let me zoom in a bit more to 220 times magnification. You can see here all the small hectagons. It's crazy, he has like thousands of these. Does he see us 10,000 times? Leave a comment down below what you think. Okay, so the back part is his abdomen. The middle part is his thorax and his face here in the front, the green part. His two eyes are attached here to his thorax. It's crazy, look at this. He's a bit, he's a bit dirty, so he was laying around like a week. You see all that fur? It's cool. He's really like a little teddy bear. Let's move out here to, to the attachment of the wings. It's crazy, he has got two sets of wings on each side. So let me turn that. You can see here he has four wings and they're attached on two levels. It's very like bony, it's a bony structure, very rough and, uh, and also a bit fur attached to it. Let me zoom in here a bit so you can see what's going on. Oh, okay. Quite a lot of information. I cannot make a lot of sense of this. <laughs> it's a lot. So let's go maybe out again and keep on going to his abdomen here. We'll come back to his wings. We'll look at his wings in a, in a, in a moment. If this got you interested in learning STEM topics to make improvements in your life, then I recommend you check out Brilliant to improve your problem solving and critical thinking skills. Their lessons are interactive so that you are applying what you've learned and understanding the why of it instead of just memorizing formulas to get by. To supercharge your learning, go to brilliant.org slash smallturnsbig and the first 200 signups get 20% off the annual premium subscription. A bit nasty, I don't know, what is this? It's like on the outside, I can see it by eye quite good. It's like on the top of his uh, abdomen, he has these particles. I don't know, maybe it's just dirt. Okay, so now here on the transmitted light, you can see how the body is degrading. It's kind of nasty looking. I cannot make sense of a lot of the intestines here because it's been a week now since it's been uh, degrading. It's, yeah, it doesn't smell so good. So let's just move here to the end. So here, all the way at the end of the dragonfly, we can see his terminal abdomen. If they mate, the two dragonflies, they attach with the end here. It's also quite hairy and sensitive, quite small. But especially, wow, well, this thing is smelly quite heavily. It's not so fun to smell this all the time. Now we can uh, observe his wing here. The second row wing is uh, much, much more wider and bigger. But yeah, what you can see here, it's quite interesting. The first part, the front part on your left, you know, squares. And then on the right side, we have more roundish structures. Something else that's also quite interesting is these lines here. They're all always straight. They never like do a turn. This one is maybe a bit special. It's bent a bit. Others than that, they're quite always linear and never do some bend. Let's let's zoom in here a bit. So we're still on the lowest. We're still on the lowest magnification. Here you can see. Oh, okay. So cool. <laughs> Looks like a barbed wire. <laughs> you never guess that this is a dragonfly's wing from this magnification it's super pointy also okay so let's get back to the face now i promise we'll look at the eyes from a different angle and at the same time we could look at his face here here you can see these huge claws that's also how he he needs to catch his prey you know and then feed it to his mouth i wish i could call myself a dragon slayer but uh this title is not for me to give what do you think 
Did I deserve a Dragon Slayer title? If yes, subscribe right now and I'll see you in the next video where we turn small things big.